Hi everybody, uh, how are you? I'm good. Uh, so today uh, I'm ready to present to you, uh, to all of you, about the automatic hand washer or another name, what we call it automatic pusset. So uh, that is my uh, presentation title, and in here uh, it is one of the uh, mechatronic uh, 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 application area. So or or, or it's uh, what we call it an electronic and system application area. So under it, there are uh, the most important uh, components nowadays in order to save uh, uh, the, the, the human uh, intervention in uh, many areas. So uh, my motive in here or my intention in here is uh, to tell you about uh, the, the versatile advantage of uh, this particular object, which is a very simple uh, electromechanical or mechatronic uh, application area, but it is advantage is very versatile, especially especially in current uh, time. So, the current time is uh, in the world. The world have been tested with the uh, coronavirus epidemic. So, in order to pass this uh, dangerous situation or season, we need to have uh, this automatic uh, hand washer rather than a manual hand washer. So. In previous uh, time, uh, these automatic hand washers are used especially in uh, public areas in, or in public uh, bathrooms, especially in airports and in uh, very big hotels. But now at time, uh, it is advantages. Uh, I think it is uh, uh, common uh, to be in our home or in our organization because uh, there are some amount of uh, viruses which can be transmitted by the manual hand washer. So. This automatic hand washer have its own versatile advantage to uh, preserve us from such kind of microbes or from microbacteria uh, when we use it uh, manually to open and close the uh, hand washer. So this automatic washer have its own uh, sensing devices. Those sensing devices have its own uh, advantage in order to save us from that microbes or microbacteria or viruses which are can be uh, presented by the uh, in personal contact uh, of this <coughs> manual operational mechanism. So here, uh, I need to talk to you is about the uh, the automatic uh, thing. So what and what the thing is makes this particular object automatic? It's not, in, by the way, sensor. So nowadays, uh, sensor is on. Uh, they, they have their own uh, versatile advantage uh, in our life. So in this particular uh, uh, hand washing uh, mechanism, we need to have uh, two sensors. These sensors are what we call it the infrared sensor and the proximity sensor. This proximity sensor have an ability to sense uh, the, the presence of a human being or the human hand at the top of uh, this uh, uh, sensor tap or at the top of this uh, the water inlet or I mean the water outlet. So this uh, proximity sensor is in order to sense uh, the presence of a human hand and which have uh, an ability to send the signal to that the, the control module and that control module is again the ability to operate to open and close this uh, solenoid valve uh, during the on of this uh, solenoid valve the water is uh, passed uh, from the outlet i mean from the uh, from the hose or from the reservoir to the inlet or to the user interface here so there is the water out and there is the water in the water in is from a reservoir or from another area but the water out is for the user uh, user interfacing application mechanism. So uh, I need to talk to you uh, this uh, the, the powerful advantage of this uh, infrared sensor and proximity sensor. So this infrared sensor has its own A which can send the uh, wave-like structure and uh, which detects the, the motion of uh, some particular uh, objects or some particular things in the, 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 the areas of this infrared sensor I. So its components are uh, basically divided into so many versatile advantages so versatile uh, groups uh, there is uh, the sensor uh, component the power supply system component and the uh, solenoid valve or 
the actuation mechanism component. So in a solenoid bulb, the solenoid bulb is, is a nearly it's a mechanical and electrical integrated component which is uh, used to open and close the, the water uh, bulb. So uh, because of these uh, sensors, the sensors have ability to send signal to this uh, control module and then after it will actuate the solenoid bulb and then after the water is uh, flow to the user. So there is, by the way, the present uh, uh, sketched uh, parameter, but in here, I need to talk to you about this uh, Empire sensor, uh, approximity sensor, and the power supply mechanism. So uh, the advantage of this Empire sensor is just sending a wave-like structure. There are uh, wave-like structures. We send a wave-like structure for uh, the user. So <clears throat> that is because of, you know, we are going to touch the component or we can kind of near to that particular uh, environment. It's ability to sense or to detect the presence of human being at that particular area and it will actuate the actuation and then send open the bulb and then the water is uh, flow through the hose and then we are gonna use uh, that water or we're gonna wash our hand or our face or some else like so there is uh, the versatile benefits of this empire sensor and proximity sensor by the way this empire and proximity sensor are uh, sensors have uh, the same application uh, of uh, our Android version. So our Android version uh, upon the screen is the screen touching mechanism is uh, it is implemented by this uh, particular sensor, what we call it a proximity sensor. When you touch the touching uh, keyboard, keypad is, and then uh, the output, the input is just our hand, and the output is the the the, the entire or application is what the display for us or for the user so the same principle is uh, implemented uh, in this android version uh, uh, screen so the android version screen is uh, implemented with this uh, proximity sensor and prior sensor mm -hmm. mostly in proximity sensor for touching purpose it can touch and we're going to touch that screen and it will display the, uh, the, the the response for the user so it's all about the uh, the sensors that we are uh, gonna implement in this proximity. I mean, in automatic pew set. The next thing uh, I'm gonna present to you is a power supply mechanism. So, automatic hand washers or automatic pew sets have uh, a power uh, supply uh, mechanism. So, in power supply, uh, <coughs> the power supply mechanism is uh, it is. A combination of this uh, uh, AC power source and DC power source here. An AC power source, uh, we need to have the AC transformer. That the AC transformer will step down the uh, the voltage of 220 uh, to 110, and then the power electronics components have ability to uh, reduce or ability to uh, to convert this 110 uh, uh, volt into 6 volt, 9 volt or 10 volt. It depends upon the design criteria of the automatic fuel set. That is about AC transformer or the AC stick down transformer. The other uh, component where I am interested, I'm interested to mention to all of you is the DC power supply. So in a DC power supply, our power uh, Supply and actuation mechanism is what I call it a battery, which is a series of batteries, or it is a C type battery, or it is AA family battery, which is an alkaline battery, and that battery uh, may be rechargeable battery, or it's, 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 it's once used and it is a thrown uh, battery, or it is uh, it have its own lens or <coughs> life uh, span battery. So the batteries are uh, usually uh, supplied uh, or they are usually used as a power source for this uh, particular fuel set. So where we can use this uh, DC power supply and AC power supply? Uh, to tell you the fact about this automatic fuel set, most of the time, its power supply mechanism is the synergetic combination of this AC power source as well as DC power source. So when the power is off or something problem or fault happen upon the, the grid power system, 
the BC power source will uh, help us uh, as a power action system. So that will able to actuate the uh, solenoid bulb. So here we here 